Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Do you love dahlias? Oh, I'm in love with them and I'm passionate about them. And fortunately, I've been able to track some down because it's some artificial ones, that is, because don't you just like to have memories of the late summer long after they've gone? Well, I do. And what I love about the dahlias is I can use artificial and I can have them all year round and that just absolutely lifts my soul to a new level. Now, I could put them in with the roses into a glass vase, but I don't really think I want them like that because they're sort of more of a rustic-y type of flower. They can also be posh and exquisite and delicious, but I wanted something that was rustic and informal. I could be using a terracotta pot, but I've got this lovely container here that's got that lovely, worn, shabby, chicy, Frenchy look to it. And knowing that, it was Empress um, Josephine who saved the dahlia bulbs, but that's a big story. There's, on the notes, I've given you the information about that. I just want to get on with it here. Now, often people say to me, oh, but when I put them into the vase acid, they all just go bleh like that. Well, I'll show you what you can do. Put a little bit of foam into there or a little bit of uh, water container into there. And then I like to use things like this. This is beautiful bay. And the thing about bay is it lasts for a long, long time. And I think, and the fragrance, oh, it's... Already it's smelling beautiful here. So all I've done is like this little water container down the bottom, shove those in like that. And you only need that much because these will dry off anyway. And by the time they've dried off, just take it out and put some more in. You could even put camellia in there if you had it or some ruscus, or you might even like to use a little bit of rosemary. And as I'm talking to you about that, I'm looking out my window and I'm seeing the rosemary thinking, why didn't I cut some of that? However, this is what I'm gonna use. Right, let me just bring these out. I've got. Oh, now, some of them have got their tags on them because I like them so much I couldn't decide which ones I would order. So please excuse the tags at this stage. Hopefully I can hide them. But look at these lovely little darling. Look at this. Look at, look at that bloom there. Oh, I think in the uh, botanical world of real, they call this cafe lait but I'm just calling it blush and I love this little one that's with it. So it's really nice that you've got your standard, you've got a, a standard head here and then just to make it more realistic, you've got this with the two wee buds. That's very clever. I've got two of those. I've got a couple of white ones here, which I really love. So yes, I think I'm gonna to have to get more of those. I can see those working beautifully with a wedding. Now, oh, this is another little one that's just so nice. Look at that, three sizes. That's very clever. I'm really liking whoever decided to get those has done a good job. I love this one here too. This just reminds me of peaches and cream with the lovely sort of buttery yellow at the side, at the edges, and then these little wee tips. And that's a lovely thing about dahlias. They, are, they just come in almost every colour. I've not seen purple and I've not seen black, but who would want black when you can have lovely sun? sunshine colours like this, oh, my, my dining room table is going to look beautiful. Plus, oh, that, that's that other one there, and I quite like that too. Look at all these lovely colours. Plus, there's these beautiful pom-pom ones here, and they've got the colourway through here is actually going to connect all the way through to there. I've only got one each of those. And if you're buying these, well, i just got to have a wee tip from me. When you're buying things you ne and you're not sure whether the colour's going to be right, just buy one and then do your colour sampling, and if it's right, you, then you can go forward, but there's nothing worse than not having the right thing. Okay, Okay, so I've got these beautiful roses here too. I, this is almost like a, a, a cupped rose, which is beautiful. And I love this rose here, which actually feels like a rose, but it's not heavy like you would get with a real rose, which is going to make my designing today much easier. Okay, so I've got my base in here, and I'm just going to go straight into the middle there, and I'm going to put... I do want to get rid of that, but never mind, I can't because I might want to reorder it. So putting one to one to the front, one to the back. And with that foliage, the great thing is, is you've got a really good base to work with. Right, I've got this little baby here, which I'm going to put to there. And then I'm going to just bring another one over there. So I've got two and two that are matching. So just two and two to the side. It's not quite 
the same as that, but it, yeah, well, yes, it is. It is, because there's two of them. Now, and then that one there, I'm just going to put that into the middle, like so. See how everything's all sitting up? So good if you don't have foam. Now, I do like this, and I think I might just have to order more of those. What's that number? PF120, so I will get more of those, because I just love it enough to know that I do want it again. That can go into there, and then I've got, and I don't want to use that one yet, I'll put the green one over to there, and then to balance out my weight, I'm going to bring this big one over to there, like so. Oh, look at that with its wee bud. I could almost want to squeeze that and smell it. Oh, I must stop it. Okay, now with this one here, that's the... the brightest colour so I'll bring that over to there and then to it distribute out the weight I'm just going to bring that one in and over to there. Should have bought more of those, I knew I should have. Right the next thing is to put the roses in and I'm going to put these in as if like think of a triangle and have equal distance between your placing so I've got one over there, bring this over to here turning that around and the next one can just go down oh, look at this how alive it's coming it just is speaking Chris uh, speaking summer okay so I've got one pink rose there which I'll put there I'm going to bring the other one just step that in ever so slightly because I've done that I'm going to bring another one into there oh loving it and then with the fourth one I'm just going to bring that up and over and into there and with these these remind me of butterscotch look at that into there isn't that just lovely and when you feel the wee petals they actually feel like they're almost real but you can be a bit rough with them which is quite nice okay so the next thing is I'll put one into there another one into there and then we'll bring this one round to there and there we have hello Summer all year round. I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you again another day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.